I'm assuming it's not as reliant on like multi hit combos to gain her damage and to gain her uh, momentum and her lead. Rather, Lucina is a neutral based character, and as long as Stretch keeps playing neutral well, then he's got a, he's got a chance to keep going. But right off the bat, he loses it and takes 30 and more from just these neutral bears who have not even landed on these follow ups. The shield damage. Roll away from web. Game one starting off with a bit of a bang. And stretch away from the combat down into just the just just the pop. Uh-oh. That's no jump, but all these is still able to make it. Great job with his momentum uh, shifting. Over and back, back, forward and back in order to cross up Lucina with just his uh, just his aerial grip. And evading the evading the front side of the sword is quite quite important when you're lacking huge disjointed or huge consistent strengths like Lucina. Lucas is gonna have to start relying on his on his forward air and his slick conversions. Which Red is certainly able to do, but 84 is the percent of stay at because they get the ground and get the kick off of just a straight up. I don't know the back air is. Okay, getting the dolphins back. Good job of going off stage when it went mad for Stretch, forcing him into a position where a rope snake wouldn't reach. In there, and he's landing these hits off of just straight with news punishes, mixing up his direction, and coming from coming from more a way that he hadn't in a, in that interaction previously. You're gonna hit me from you're gonna hit me as I go in front of you, and I'll jump and hit you from above. Blocking low, I'll go high. Blocking high, I'll go low. Quick decision making is what it takes, and I'm seeing it definitely reward plenty of that quick decision making. She dominates neutrals, while she stretches and looking hard for a goal. Attack in order to get out of that PK Thunder, too. Neutral. Neutral air down tilt grab that conversion into a kill throw. So strong. Kill confirms in general are just so so strong, but yeah. stretch is gonna be forced to plan like back foot, but just like the previous stock. After a little bit of damage, he takes the stock after a red interaction. This time a roll read. And he puts the full with the dancing boy, trying to do so again. But all the left does walk up. He has another trouble as he runs off with the down here. And another one! <laughs> Dredge with the phenomenal ledge play. Not gonna let Lucas recover for free. I was expecting the counter, but no, no, Stretch decided to go out with a bang, but instead of Lucas, it was his own, his own sword play. You know what, Brady? It's because I live in a house with five people. That's why. <laughs> Still, phenomenal gameplay from Stretch. I'll try and talk up a little bit more. Mm -hmm. I wonder what the new stage will be. Last time Web Counter picked to Kalos. 
too. I would expect the same thing unless it is banned, which would make sense. Okay, it may be ASMR, but I hope it's good Three, ASMR. Two, one, go. <laughs> yeah, peace, peace to pick. I expect a ban from Cap. I banned Callus because. Well, giving Lucas all that center stage to start working on his combo game, that's not ideal. This time, at the very least, uh, stretch his platforms behind him to push and uh, ways to extend his own his own defensive wall. And with Web ends up getting stuck on that platform thanks to some of these up tilts and, uh, and aerials, that's a bonus too. Making sure to avoid. Gets it out of the stream with just a with just a dolphin slash, and further he goes. Wow, that fair missed. I'm pretty surprised. I'm fairly surprised by that. It looks like he went right through. Yeah, right through the sword. Stretch deciding not to tango with this legend action any longer to three take center stage. What's not letting him get away that easy? You think up to won't take the stock at right now? Oh, that's. It looks like he was just trying to tether the ledge, but the. Tethers and momentum in this game are super awkward because sometimes your forward momentum is still being caught by the tether one, but it's still landing you right on the center stage, right on the edge of the stage. You know, less than ideal. Being, being put in a position you don't want to be in, not ideal. I'm gonna say. Oh, wow, he crossed him up just with his drift and with a landing fair. Stretch is still trying to find ways to, to mix up his spacing and mix up the, the frame advantage that he puts himself above red. Because Lucian is. Super plus thanks to her range and her general aerials being uh, being really safe on shield. But you're not trying to make your opponent complacent, and complacency comes comes from oh he always jumps over and back airs my shield. That time was a jump over and fair. That time it's a nair, but that nair that time was a nair, but that nair was parry, which is yeah whatever where the interplay comes in. You parry something, usually you parry something where you know it's coming. Between Stretch has been looking for down there as a combo starter pretty frequently. And that was not a re-grab. He canceled his tether. So he saved his jump in order to cap in order to hit one of his of the legend in order to regain it. Oh, he's looking, he's looking for the jab lock. Wow, he didn't punish that. The is going to be an excellent grab. He can freeze, not, not safe enough, apparently. It's always good to sprinkle and grabs, even as fireball characters, where he grabs don't really net you much. That often such gets him out of big trouble. And then Nair 1 can bring it. We've seen him having Nair 1 still is makes so much of a difference. And of course, if she didn't, or if she was just a straight neutral character, a lot would be problematic. But the peak defender 1 is going to take this jump and hold the properties in there. So far. That's so what it's gonna be what evens up a lot of the game. And we all know Lucas can do damage. He's still stretched, still managing to keep keep his percent lead. He's having a broken shield, so good on web not not shielding, not Risking it, but that will really risk it for the biscuit and stretch takes the dough.
I was wondering when he would finally go for that counter off stage because like he been doing a pretty solid job of making Lucas, uh, making Webb rather, uh, commit to PK Thunder two at a pretty decent distance, reactable for sure, even on Wi-Fi. So two zero going to stretch as he looks ready to. He's looking pretty poised to take this 3-0, even with these close games. Stretch has been playing in the clutch a lot. Yeah. He's, when it's mattered, he's been finding the kills. While Webb seems to have his priority focused on stage control and damage, which does well from the catch-up position, Finding the kills can add. If you're looking for kills at 140 with your uh, kill throw conversion, the Nair down to grab, or I guess just down to grab, that won't get you as far ahead as when Stretch is looking for the down air and the F smashes that he is. And that'll get him certainly a lot. Build him leads and keep him up with the crazy damage out there that Lucas and WebJP have been putting onto him by just, you know, you may win neutral four times, but I only need win to neutral three times. Three, two, one, go! He's still fire starting on him. Web's adaptations never last the whole game. Like he starts out, or he like start something, or have moments of. I don't know this. He'll have moments of where he changes the pace of the game, and he'll start using Lucas as an enemy, or start using Lucas as a But when the game starts to get either in his favor or in his opponent's favor, he'll always fall back on trying to put on pressure and trying to find his damage in combo starters instead of sticking to the game plan that he starts off with game. which against some characters you can still do that because of the momentum that Lucas can bring but against Christina where certain things are just so hard to punish and she can punish you super hard like right there some of these down airs that stretch is putting onto web are so like the, just what Red, uh, just what Stretch needs to keep the damage burst in his favor and more. See, look for it. I was a startup for a match. I don't wonder what Red was doing. He's swinging some of those S matches, by the way. I'm sorry, numbers. Uh, there's a lot of. There's very. Yeah, it's hard to. It's hard to talk really loud, numbers. This this number of people in my house also sleeping. <laughs> At least we can't sleep on wet for sure. He's he's managed to, to make games close even when they seem even when they seem dire. As that two frames going to be what takes it. Yeah, I know, right. And now Webb is in probably his best position as uh, damage combos and potentially kill combos at these percent seem to be his speciality. While Stretch is keeping keeping with his same formulaic strategy, where just that uh, if you shield, I'll grab. If you jump, I'll throw out my aerial. That's out certain certainly going to outrange yours. Fire. He can't freeze the thunder. <laughs> wow, he almost made that. Okay, I was. He saved his jump for the longest time and he teched where he could, but the multi hit PK thunder is it's really hard to deal with. Because even if you tech it, most of the time you're caught by another one of its hits. As long as it's trailing, it's active. And now, 152. Web bringing this. Plenty back as Stretch just goes for the turnaround grab at 160. 
Looking for the downer again. Instead of going for the guaranteed counter. No, wait, what, what, wait, hold on. Was he, he was holding out. He, I swore at the angle that, that when he was popped up, he would have hit stage, but the DI out to survive is going to be what costs him as WebJP takes that game three and keeps his tournament hopes alive. Game four, he's going to be changing out. I expect it's some sort of stage swap. I don't, I doubt he'll let Lucina go to Smashville. Maybe Battlefield? Ready? Mm -hmm. Certainly come. Something to contemplate for Lucina. Three, two, but one, both of these players go! gonna. Yeah, oh, he did let him go to his map. I'm actually not super sure what Lucas wants as a stage. It seems like WebJP prefers larger stage with a pretty decent center area to run around in. Smash Bros. seems like the antithesis to that. Uh -oh. He does not have a jump. That's so unfortunate. You do everything right, but... Regardless, Webb is find himself back on stage with another life, and Frenchie's gonna have to work that much harder. Granted, Webb has already been working pretty hard just to find openings in neutral, but his own his own damage output has been what's keeping him in this game. Webb always been fine at executing, executing these combos, even on one fight. Wow. Okay. That uh, the happy case is missed. Sure. Sure. <laughs> Never won F to miss, but he covered the air dodge anyway. Great reaction from Stretch. Way to stay prepared. Down smash to be relatively quick from this. I believe it's. Yeah, I'm not able to guess. I'm just gonna look and find out that it is frame six. So pretty solid. Pretty solidly quick uh, kill option. And you know what? So is that. Nair into just an up tilt, not even going for the down tilt grab, not even bothering with that. Furthering potential to mess up execution or a lag spike to come in, just needs an up tilt to kill at 199. And he can definitely rely on Lucas's own cop. Get him, get him to close that percent differential. Stretch as a as a Lucina, he gets out of a lot of combos using Dolphin Slash as opposed to any other defensive. Super good move. Super super good. It's something I just see Stretch choose more than the majority of other Lucinas who want to not be in free fall as much as possible. So even if Dolphin Slash is a even the correct option, they'll try to keep that as a as a last resort. For exactly that reason, because he missed the Dolphin Slash, he set himself up for a huge punish, which Webb did not mess up, not that time. And thus, we're going down into the uh, stock situation. Both well, these players super even at this. this, at this junction of the game. But Webb is starting to put on damage, turning up the jets, and getting himself a weed when he needs it, and holding back when he uh, when he finally managed to hold on to that weed. Oh, gotta be careful there, Stretch. But he kept his dog. Oh, it's fast falling straight down. 14% is the start. Runs right into the PK fire running off the platform. Clanks with the clanks with the jab too, it looks like off the grab. Now that web's on ledge, he can finally start putting up his damage. Missing the nair. 
but he still puts on stage and back throw will take it. 121 on ledge, game five. Webb showed what the stuff that he needed to win that game. When it, Stretch gave himself an open opportunity despite being down by having a deficit, that dare convert dare into S Smash conversion came out right when he needed it. And when it came down to a last stock situation, Webb turned on the Jets. I can hold games too. And I can take close games too. Thus, Stretch is going back to the drawing board. Perhaps looking for a different stage. Something a little bit bigger, mayhaps? Not going to Smash Club? Or was it just changing his skin? It's also a thing, apparently, that some players believe in. Personally, not about it. But, you know what? I've actually seen him using default. Both of these characters, players uh, use default. Uh, okay. PS2 is the pick. An immediate change of game plan from from Stretch. Instead of just instead of closing the distance and trying to stay at sword's length, he's looking more for burst length. Where how far can I be that I'm still threatening Lucas with aerials? That fair puts him in another bad spot, but he doesn't go for the run. He goes for the wrong base there. Looks like he got a full hop of some kind. Still, 100 to 0 is plenty of a lead. Another aggressive on oncoming, uh, oncoming option from. Um, web. Sorry, I just had a major, major mind, like, blank. <laughs> Web's not, though. Web is keeping focus. This has been a long set for both of these players, and a reverse 3 0 is nothing to sneak. But Web is looking like he's, looking like he's getting ready for it. Not a stretch of something to say about it. Web is calm enough to play out of shield, but he knows that uh, Lucina won't have a kill throw until, like, probably even 30% from now, maybe 20, or thanks to Rage. Meanwhile, Lucas is such a threat at this percent range thanks to Falling Nair being super safe. Yeah, that would kill him. And Lucas's plethora of kill throws that anywhere on stage you're prone to die, but that is going to be what takes that first stock of a bear calling out the jump out of shield. And now Stretch can start playing his game a little bit more. As long as he avoids those PK fires, he won't have to deal with off uh, putting himself off stage. Lucas, playing against Lucas is like trying is the principle of patience and stage control. Lucas doesn't really do anything to get in. So as long as you have a lead, he's got to put himself out of his own comfort zone. As long as you don't do anything ridiculously unsafe, which Lucina naturally doesn't do. It's about spacing aerials. It's about getting one to do hits and chilling. Like your damage will come just from playing well. Playing solid. But Stretch definitely knows how, when to push the agenda, when to overshoot a little bit, and force Webb into his own bad positions and get damage off that. But ooh, the parry for there, luckily safe on parry. Down to but he rolled. I believe he wanted a texture of some kind there. Wow, okay. Let's go whoops need. That's tragic. He nared the wrong... He was facing for what looked like Nair 1, but facing backwards. And that gave Ev another opportunity. Just like the just like the last game where... Once, uh, once Stretch missed a Dolphin Slash and Webb had the opportunity to take a kill, he took it. 
takes another kill and suddenly Webb is looking like he's in the driver's seat despite the strong start from Stretch. And now he's swinging in at F smashes, taking 60, damage is climbing. Finally beating the air dodge with that 84%. Uh, it's reminiscent of game one as long as Dreche is able to find some find a way to get Lucas off stage, get Lucas on edge. This game is far from over, but Lucas has such a solid neutral that or such a solid defensive game plan that it's it's gonna be hard to work around that. Web is playing this immaculately as the pivot grab. But it looks like a DI mix-up that Stretch was ready for, but as long as he's on the ledge, he can keep the pressure on.